Hello, everybody. Welcome to Prayer Encounter. Praise God. It's Thursday, and we're really excited to be with the folks today. Yeah, we are. We missed everyone last week. Of course, it was Thanksgiving. Trust you had a wonderful time with family and friends. We did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> For sure. We are blessed. Ate a lot of food. Yes. Played a lot of games. Yes. Even had a lip sync contest, didn't we? Did. we? <laughs> Our granddaughter won, that's for sure. Oh, my goodness. We were goodness. like, whoa, talented here. <laughs> yeah, her and John were really, really doing it. It was fun. Anyway. But hope you guys had a, a good time. And right now it's December the 2nd. Oh, wow. We are in the holiday spirit full on now. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we want to remind you that attend Heart of the Bay that this coming Sunday, we're going to have a special communion service, yes. and we're going to kick off this glorious Christmas season with a message called, He is with us. So you don't want to miss that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then coming up on December 19th, praise God, that's yes. going to be good. Why don't you talk a little yes. bit about that? We are going to have a wonderful Christmas celebration with just some beautiful anointed music. And uh, we're going to do a little bit different this year. Yeah. That you and I are going to kind of exhort between songs as, as we feel that, I guess. Yeah. Or, or as you tell me to, when you let me talk. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a really good time. Invite your family and friends. It will be a Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Yeah. on December 19th. It's a great time of year to, to open up your heart, give yeah. to the Lord, yes. praise, give to the Lord of your time and all of the things that God has deposited on the inside That's of you. Sure. Now today, what we want to talk about and pray about is what? Peace and protection. And I know this morning we were talking about this and we always seek the Lord on what we should share and then pray, of course, spirit-led prayers as he leads us. But you had a phrase this morning that I loved. What was that phrase you well, said? Well, I can't remember who I stole it from, no. <laughs> but the phrase is this, peace for the holiday pace. Well, I thought it came right from you. I'll give you the credit. Somewhere it came from. <laughs> But well, you know what? When you listen to a lot of preachers and you listen to the word constantly, I know how, how is that that someone said the first time I'll give you credit, the second time probably not, and by the third time it'll be I That's said right. it. But yeah. anyway, it was a good phrase, and I love that because we know that this time of year there is potential out there for our peace to be disturbed. Oh, for sure. You know, and people are, are wondering, some folks are under financial pressure, how am I going to pay for all the things that are needed to have a great Christmas time, and uh, it's just too stressful for me, and all these opportunities yeah. to get agitated and disturbed yeah. at, at people out there, maybe a clerk at the store or a waiter with an attitude right. in a restaurant or the line, you know, the line cutters. I've been in stores before where line someone, cutters. yeah, boy, that's one of my pet peeves. You're in the long line and somebody just comes from the side and pretends like they don't see the long line and try to cut in. But anyway. Yeah. But you're not a line cutter. <laughs> no, but usually I'm a line cutter reporter. If oh. Somebody does it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's not walking in love, is it? But anyhow, yeah. but we uh, definitely need to meditate on peace, particularly right. this time of year. Yeah, now there's <laughs> examples, rude people on the phone. Oh boy, or, yeah. <laughs> you know, disturbing drivers. Oh, that's one of yours. That could be the time. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the that could be a message right there. Disturbed drivers. And I love the fact that you usually have something to say to them. I mean, he's not you know not ungodly words, but kind of like, uh, what are you doing there? And your favorite, my favorite is, okay, you can go now. The light is well, green. <laughs> we're we're talking. That's completely talking about the fleshly. Mark, which we are trying well, to, no, trying I, to well, grow here. I just revealed mine that I report the line cutters. Yeah. So anyhow, okay. we all have our things that we need to work on. But you know what? We are going to stay in peace. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, so good. You know, some people live, seriously, in a, in a constant state of uproar. I mean, they're always up yeah. in arms, there's always upset or agitated that's about something. True. And the enemy watches that, the enemy listens to that. Oh, that's true. And so he looks for ways mm -hmm. that he can agitate us. Yeah. He's a thief and he comes to 
steal, to kill, and destroy. Yeah. One of the things that he wants to steal is our faith. Yeah. He wants yes. to steal our peace. Yes, for We sure. don't need to let that happen. No. And so let's look at Romans chapter 3, verse 17. Why don't you read that, huh? Yeah, out of the Amplified, it gives us a definition of people that really are not walking in peace. And they have no experience of the way of peace. They know nothing about peace. For a peaceful way, they do not even recognize. Right. Wow. So many people we know, according mm -hmm. even to the Word of God and by personal experience, that there's so many people, they don't know anything about living in peace. They're just mm -hmm. used to being uptight and stressed out, drama, drama, drama. You know, I got to take a pill to go to sleep so I can calm down and go to sleep. I got to take a pill to wake up because it was just an unrestful night. I got to take a pill to deal with all of this stress. And of course, you know, there's times that you may need medical help in these areas. We're not putting that down, but it should not be a way of life where that we're just constantly stressed out and right. not any peace. That's right. I like what someone said a while back, I am too blessed to be stressed. Oh, yeah. Amen. And so, of course, unbelievers are, are that way, but a lot of Christians are. True, true. But we have answers, and it's found in uh, verse 18. Yeah. We're looking at Romans 3 yes. and verse 18 in the Amplified Version. It says, there is no reverential fear of God before their eyes. So that's letting us know that we can be born again, but if we are not revering the Lord, if we're not keeping our faith, our confidence and trust in Him, if we're not looking unto Him and acknowledging Him in all of our ways and recognizing Him as the Prince of Peace, then we are not going to walk in the peace that has been provided. Yeah. Like so many things, that has been provided for the believer, they are conditional. That's right. One of the best ways to stay in peace, yeah. of course, is found in the Word of God. I yes. mean, you can find scripture after scripture yes, of course. about the peace of God. This is a great one. Isaiah 26, 3. Yeah. It says, you will keep him in perfect peace yeah. whose mind is That's stayed right. on you That's right. because he trusts in you. Amen. And then in verse 4 it says, Trust in the Lord forever, for in Yah the Lord is everlasting strength. So we see this yeah. principle in Isaiah 26, 3. He says, I will keep you in perfect, perfect peace. peace. Yeah. What does the Hebrews say about that word well, peace? Peace, peace. It's like shalom, shalom. Shalom, so it's a, shalom. A double Right. Emphasis. Double the Hebrew emphasis. word is shalom there. Shalom, shalom. And we know what shalom means. Nothing missing, nothing brokenness, yeah, broken, wholeness. Hallelujah. So this verse is telling us that when we trust in the Lord, we will have shalom, shalom. Yeah. And then I even like it in the Amplified. It, it, it says a little bit differently. You will guard him and keep him in perfect and constant peace whose mind, both its inclination and its character, is stayed on you because he commits himself to you. He leans on and he hopes confidently in you. Oh, that's good. I love that scripture. And going on, it says in verse 4, yeah. So trust in the Lord, commit yourself to mm -hmm. him, lean on him, hope confidently in him, mm -hmm. Forever, for yeah. the Lord God is an everlasting rock. He is the rock of ages. I think sometimes what needs to happen when we're presented with stress, when we're mm -hmm. presented with the cares of this world, we just stop. That's good. And we say, no, we're not going to go there. Yeah. We're not going to receive those right. worry-filled thoughts. We're going to give all of our cares mm -hmm. to the Lord, yeah. but then take it another step and then stay your mind. Put your mind on yes, him. Yes. Stay your mind on him, the Prince of Peace. Praise yes, God. Amen. The giver of peace. I love that. Amen. So we see that condition. You just said that. Mm -hmm. Keep your mind stayed on him, not thinking about the problem, not meditating on the lies of the devil, not feeding on garbage, not watching fear-filled junk, which means we 
definitely right. <laughs> have to turn off the news and the media many times. Just so, put a Hallmark movie on. Yeah, oh, there, yay. <laughs> I got him to admit it. He has watched some Hallmark movies with me already this season. Well, we kind of have fun trying to figure out the end. We know that at the end, <laughs> it's always going to end with a big kiss. And happy. And, happy. and you know what he's done before, right before the end, when they're out, they always throw a little glitch in there and a little drama. He's like, oh, I think it's over. They're not going to get together this time. No, just give us five more minutes and it'll be a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, do what you got to do. <laughs> to stay happy. To keep your mind <laughs> stayed on him. What we look <laughs> yeah. on, what we look at, what we say, all affects our level of peace. Praise God. And you know what? Uh, I think of a scripture in 2 Peter. Yeah. It says that grace and peace can be multiplied unto us yes. through the knowledge of God yeah, and our Lord mm -hmm. and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. So that is another gateway yeah. to having great peace is get to know Him. Amen. Get Amen. to know the Lord. That's right. Acquaint now yourself with Him, mm -hmm. Job says, mm -hmm. and be at peace. That's really good. And in being at peace, great good shall come your way. That's great. Amen. Praise God. And you'll be settled in unsettled times. Yeah, if that's you're good. Walk, walking and operating in the peace of God. There's a great scripture in Psalms 112. Yes. I mean, that whole chapter is really, really good on the established heart, the, established the fixed heart, heart. The fixed heart. Fixed heart. But in, in uh, verse t 7 of Psalms 112, it says, He will not be afraid of evil tidings. Mm -hmm. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. And that same passage, mm. set verse 7 through 8 in the Passion Translation, you have that there, you want to read that? It says, they will not live in fear or right. dread of what may come. Oh, that's good. For our hearts are firm, ever secure Amen. in their faith, yeah. steady and strong. We will not be afraid, but will, right. will calmly face every foe mm. until they all go down in defeat. Woo Man, that's shouting ground right there. Praise God. I think God. we ought to say praise the Lord on that. Trust. Don't you love that? Trust. Trust. Amen. Amen. Not facing our future with fear That's right. and what may happen That's or true. the newest variant that may oh, come across, boy. come down the pipe. Yeah, yeah. But no, we're facing our future with faith. Amen. We're facing our future with yeah, hope. Yeah. And when you do that, your joy level goes mm -hmm. way up and your peace level all goes, <laughs> also goes all the way up. Amen. I love how it says that, that it will calmly face every foe. Mm -hmm. And that is so good, too, because, you know, when you are in faith and when you are in peace, even when these things come, and we know the attacks come, they've come to many of our loved ones. We faced attacks sure. in our life. But you don't just all of a sudden run around in, in frustration and anxiety. And what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Go get the Bible. I think there's a scripture <laughs> in there that covers that. Or, oh, man, maybe we should go to church next Sunday. We haven't been in months, but maybe now's the time to go. Oh. You know, things like that. No. When we've got our trust and our confidence in Him, we will calmly face whatever the devil throws our way yeah. because we know the end result. That's right. And That's it's victory right. in the name of Jesus. Praise Amen. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. You know, there may be people that are on with us today and, and people that will be on later. You know, a lot yeah. of people watch this, not necessarily when it's 12 noon, right. but they'll watch it at night or yeah, they'll yeah. watch it the next day. But perhaps some people right now are dealing with some cares mm -hmm. and anxieties in their life. I think of what Jesus said, that the cares of this life, yeah. what it does is the cares of this life enter in yeah. and choke the Word it so does. that the Word of God becomes unfruitful. Yeah. But now the Bible says that we are to let the peace of God rule Amen. in our hearts. Amen. And part of letting or allowing the peace of God to rule in our hearts is to also let His Word yeah. dwell in us richly. That's Amen. Right. Right. So what happens when we refuse to allow those cares to enter in mm -hmm. and then open up our heart for the Word of the Lord to enter in, glory yeah. to God, yeah. the Word of God will not be choked. So if, if you're watching mm, today or good. if you're listening today or at some future time, 
we just want to pray. We want to lead you in a prayer of just rolling your cares, casting Amen. all your cares yes. upon him. Amen. Praise God. So let's pray right now. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. we thank you that you yes. have sent thank Jesus you, Christ, the thank Son you, of the Lord. living God, who is the Prince of Peace, the Prince of Shalom. Thank and Lord, you, Lord, you said in your word that if we will keep our hearts and our minds mm. stayed on you, yeah. that you would give us perfect peace. Mm -hmm. So Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we roll all of our cares, all of our mm -hmm. worries, all of our anxieties, all those things that have caused stress in our lives, we roll them all on you. Yes, we yes, cast yes, them yes, cast into me. your capable hands yes, in, the the in the name of, of the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. And Father, right yes. now, we prakaso renish de la mande. We prafaso coronde. We let's pray for a peace that passes all understanding to mount guard over yes, their hearts and yes, over yes. their minds in the name of Jesus. We surround this community of prayer. We surround those right now with our faith and our love in our yes, love, and do. we say, peace, peace be yours, peace be unto yeah. you. And we say to the storms of this life that have come your way, peace be still yeah. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I'm reminded what Jesus said over in John 14, yeah. let not your hearts uh -huh. be troubled, neither let them be, be afraid. afraid. Yeah. Hallelujah. There's people that you're troubled. You're very troubled about a loved one, and I think it's a, probably a child, maybe a grown child, a teenager, and you're just so concerned and so troubled that they're not walking with the Lord. They're not uh, in fellowship with Him. But what is that scripture that even talks about? We need to speak the word over our family. Great yeah, is, is the, the peace, peace of my, my ch children. Is that what it says? It? Great is the peace of my children. Yes, yes. Their undisturbed, undisturbed composure. Yes. So Hallelujah. Sandra. You need to Jesus say, name. speak it over yourself, that I am not going to carry the care of this child. I declare I have great peace, but so do they. Mm -hmm. They have peace, the peace of God that passeth all understanding. It's going to keep my heart and, it, and my mind, but they also, they're going to tap into that peace of God, so and they're not going to have wrong associations. Mm -hmm. That just comes up in my heart as well, that you can take authority yeah. over that. Sit in your seat of authority yeah. and speak words of life That's right. and words of peace yeah. over your loved ones. Not, oh, you know, they're going to they're going to end up in jail. They're going to do this. They're going to do mm -hmm. that. No, speak faith-filled words because yes. they do dominate the law of sin and That's death. right. And hold steady. Amen. Hold steady. We were just reading about a really close friend of ours yes, whose son so went good. through major, major league battles with Bipolar. anxiety and, and depression yeah. and different things. Mm -hmm. And the parents held steady, yes, continued to yes, hold fast to the Word of God and were there for yes, him yes, and him spoke help. words mm -hmm. of life over him and got him help. Folks, the point is this, no matter what your family member may be facing, That's right. you have authority mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. your family. As a dad, as a mom, you've been given yeah. dominion. Mm -hmm. You've been given, right. given mastery <laughs> over those circumstances. So that's really a really a good word because I know this time of year, yes, yes. Um, you know, there's yeah. a lot of people that are are stressing about their loved ones. Definitely, and and there's there's people that their their children again. It's the grown children that have kind of gone their own way. This right. young generation kind of has a little bit different way of thinking and sometimes they get into reasoning a lot and well, do I really believe what my parents said the Bible said and all of that. Don't, don't get over concerned about that. Just hold steady that Jesus is their Lord and they're gonna come around. Yeah. They're gonna come around, praise the Lord. And when we stay in this peace, there's also something there about um, that peace of God operating in that. Mm. And I don't know how it's totally it's connected, but those two words came up in my heart really big yesterday, peace and protection. Peace and protection. And so it's a good thing once we got, speak the word concerning peace, you know, what yeah. we're doing really, then with our words, and we'll look at maybe a little bit of Psalms sure. 91, but then what we do with our words is we build an ark of safety 
for oh, yeah. our family. That's right. And these faith-filled words, finding scriptures mm. that cover your case, finding scriptures that speak to your heart. It's like a, a rhema. It's a word mm -hmm. right from the, you look into the word and it goes off in your heart and you're like, yeah, I'm taking that. I'm confessing that over my loved one. Yes. I know when we went through some things with our youngest son and to God be the glory, he's wow, he's a strong man of God now, but I would read the word and I'd be like, oh yeah, I never saw it exactly like that, but I'm taking that scripture and That's I'm right. speaking that over him. And one of them I remember was many plans are in a man's mind, mm -hmm. but is the Lord's purpose for him that shall stand. Yes. That's over in the book of Proverbs. And maybe even some children or, or grown children or a loved one, or they're making all of these plans and you just have a check in your heart and you say, no, that's not, the, that's not really what they should be doing. Well, claim that. Say, no, they might have that's a right. plan in their mind, but God's purpose for them is going to stand. Yes. Amen. Amen. Build an ark of safety yes. for your family with your words. That's and right. your faith-filled words will even cause a shield of pro uh, protection to That's be right. activated That's right. around our loved ones. So Psalms 91 yeah. verses 1 through 3 in the Amplified yeah. says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, that's you. Amen. You're dwelling in Him. He's yes. dwelling in you. You've got the peace of God. Yes. So we're dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. Shall remain stable, fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, yeah. whose power no foe <laughs> can withstand. Amen. And then I will say, I will while say. you're dwelling, you need to be doing some saying. Yeah. I will say of the Lord, Yes. You are my refuge. Yes. You are our fortress. You are our God. In you mm. I lean and rely, and in you I confidently trust. Yes. Then what will happen? For yeah. then Glory. He will deliver you. Amen. He will deliver your loved ones from the snare yeah. uh -huh. of the fowler oh, yeah. and from the de deadly pestilence. Amen. If we will say, yeah. He will do. That's good. He is the high priest of our confession. Uh -huh. So through your prayers today yeah, yeah. and through your faith-filled words, you're giving the high Amen. priest of your confession something mm -hmm. to work with. Amen. And that, I, I love that. Amen. And you know, I think that probably we'll pick up with this maybe next week as well, because we got a lot more to say about protection. But let's just maybe read verse four through six. Does that yeah, seem go good right to ahead. You? And this is out of the NLT. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and your protection. Mm. Glory to God. There is such power in the Word of God. I got to tell you this quick little story. There's this lady that had just come up out of church and the pastor had read Psalms 91. She's walking to her car and some guy comes up behind her and tries to grab her purse. And she didn't have time to quote the whole 91st Psalm, but she remembered there was something about him covering you with his feathers. And she just started screaming, feathers, feathers, feathers. And the guy thought, this lady is crazy. Yeah. He dropped her purse and ran away. There was anointing even on the word feathers. Hallelujah. But verse 5, do not be afraid of the terrors of night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread. I wanted to get to this t today. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Now, let me just stop right uh -huh. there. Dread is an opposite of hope. Ooh. Dread yeah. is an expectation of bad. Wow. And so it says, do not expect wow. the diseases that stalk in darkness, mm. nor the disaster that strikes yeah. at midday. Do not expect that to happen to you. No or to your loved ones, or to your city, yeah. or to your yeah. community. Amen. And then of course it goes on and says, though a thousand will fall at your side, though 10,000 are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. And That's I think right. we should probably pray after we mention that a little bit. There's so yeah. much to pray about today. Yeah, absolutely. Of course this new variant that everybody's talking about, Om Om Omicron or whatever it I is. It's a Greek word. I have a good Greek friend that's not real happy about them calling all these variants with Greek names. <laughs> like, but anyone, 
Yeah. Anyway, but we should be declaring. Yeah. It'll not come near us. Yeah, we're not dreading it. I like name. how you said that. We're not going to dread that. We're not. Yeah, gonna... we don't want to expect mm -hmm. that. What we want to expect, yeah. you know, we're going to use wisdom. We're going to do yes, what we need course, to be doing. Of course. But we need to expect the goodness of God to show up in every area of our life. Yeah. And that includes our physical being. That's right. To where every organ mm -hmm. and every tissue of our body functions in the perfection that God created to function. And we also expect this. This is a good confession. Every disease germ and every virus that tries Touches to my touch body, my body, what dies, happens to it? Dies instantly. instantly. In the name of Jesus. I yeah. know I say that on a regular basis because you don't know exactly what's going on out there, but we know that we are protected and we plead the blood of Jesus. You know, I just got this in my heart. You know, we, we say many, many times in the service, getting yeah. the people to confess it. Yeah. I'm always in the right place That's good. at the right time, yeah. doing the right things mm -hmm. with the right people. This fits for our loved ones. Oh, this yes. fits Amen. for our relatives. That's good. This fits for us. Amen. And so one thing that you can say over yourself over mm -hmm. your loved ones. For example, if you have a son or daughter, you yeah. just confess that he's always in the right place. That's good. At the right time, Amen. doing the right things with the right, right people. Right people. Glory good to now. God. Let's yeah. say it together. Thank I'm you. always. I'm always. In the right place. In the right place. At the right time. At the right time. Doing the right things. Doing the right things. With the right people. With the right people. And so this oh. positions you for yeah. those weapons so that come well. against us, whatever that may be, yeah. not to prosper. Amen. Isn't that what Isaiah 54, yes. 17 yes. says? Yes. Yeah. It says no weapon That's right. formed against us shall prosper. Amen. So hallelujah. I think we should just pray yeah. right now. There's a good unction on that. And, mm. and let's first, let's yes. just take some authority over mm -hmm. fear. Yeah, but I'll fear that about tries about. to run rampant yeah, in our yeah, nation yeah, right yeah, now yeah, and in the yeah, lives yeah, yeah, even yeah, of many yeah. believers. Yeah. And we right now in Jesus yes. name, we declare it. Lord, we thank you. You did not give us a spirit of no. fear, but a power and love. of love and of a sound, sound mind. mind. For we know that fear yeah. will try to attack mm -hmm. in the I mind and cause people's minds not not to be sound, but cause their minds and their emotions to be full of anxiety and worry and emotion. So we bind you, spirit of fear. Yeah, we know that it can be shot off. Fear is a spirit. And we bind it in the name of Jesus from attaching itself to the people here in our congregation and our loved ones, those that are associated with us. No, you don't. Oh, we cast fear out of doors. <laughs> we will not dread. No, 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 no. We, we, we address that spirit of fear yeah, we do. now we do. in the name of Jesus. We declare no fear. No fear here. No fear, no here. fear in my mind. No. no fear in my household. No, no uh -huh. fear, none at all. In Jesus' yeah, name. Oh, and, even the and even the young ones, the yeah. young children mm -hmm. now, even at, at elementary age, and, yeah. and where they're being, you know, this thing would get the vaccine, don't get the vaccine, and there's so much talk about COVID and the new variant. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus yes, over our Lord. young children, <laughs> over our grandchildren, that that oh, fear of this and dread of this disease would not get mm -hmm. a strong hold in their thinking yes. in the mighty name of Jesus we come against that paralyzing mm. that takes place yes, when people yield yes, to a yes, spirit yes. of fear, afraid oh, to, ha, ha. to get out of the house, mm, afraid mm, to go mm, shopping. We put a stop yeah, on we that, stop it. especially here in the San Francisco Bay Area. We yes, bind you, devil, we do. in the name of <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> and we loose the ministering angels. No, we no, loose no. the ministering Mimita. spirits yeah, all yeah. around our angels, malls, angels, all angels. around our brachos. Oh, yeah. Yes, angels oh, of the Lord. Angels of the Lord encamped round yeah. about. Yeah, uh -huh. that's right. 
right. Uh -huh. Guardians. Mm. Guardians. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Not Lord. guardians of the galaxy, no, 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 but no. guardians of the believers, the yes. angelic hosts. <laughs> oh, and this is our territory. Mm. This is our domain. Yeah. Oh, Madras, our malls, mm. our stores, yeah. we come against that spirit of lawlessness. That's right. That's what it is. In the name of we Jesus. We bind that from ruling and reigning. No, you will not get a stronghold here in our area, in our state. Yes, Lord. We put a stop on that. This organized lawlessness. Oh, no, no, no. May those that are planning and plotting evil things, may they be apprehended. That's right. May they be stopped in the, name of in the mighty Pakasoto. name of Jesus. The ringleaders Pakasoto. of all of this, the leaders Pakasoto. of Mashondra, those that are they're praying even on younger Rapa men and women and having them go in and do this activity. May the ringleaders be caught and stopped in the name of yes, Jesus. <laughs> we pray for their salvation. Oh, Lord. yes. We pray for their yes, deliverance. Yes, deliverance. We pray deliverance. in the name of Jesus for their hearts to be turned Thank to the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Their hearts, Lord God. <laughs> to be turned toward the Master. Oh, Malite Ele Lord, we even pray for supernatural intervention, even miracles, Lord, and, and supernatural labors to go across their paths, even angels, Lord, even angels to go across their paths. Oh, my, Maki Sele Mande. Divine, divine encounters. Yeah. That's what it is. Divine, divine encounters, encounters, Lord. Right. Even the whether it's uh -huh. a, whether it's in visions and dreams, mm. or kabashundra, or yeah. even their eyes open mm, to see mm, the mm, angels mm, of mm. the Lord that are dabasunta. Yes. Ooh, defending, defending. Yes, ha, ha, ha. Oh, I, I heard someone mm, say God, one time. So I thought it was so amazing. interesting that even even throughout the the Bible, when angels showed up, they usually, uh, the people that needed defending, they oftentimes didn't see it. But right. the ones that were coming against them, their eyes were open yeah. and they saw it's the good. angels and they're, whoa. Yeah. So may that even happen yes. in many of these cases. Hallelujah. Yeah. Divine supernatural intervention. Ha, 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 That's ha. so good. Woo, where they wow. will know that God is God mm. and a mess and Lord. if they are an enemy of God, they're on the wrong side uh -huh. and they need to change sides. Oh, I think we ought to just give them praise. <laughs> Thank Give you, God Lord. praise because Thank he's moving. Thank you, Lord. He's moving in yes, our state. Yes, you are moving. He's moving we in Los glory. Angeles yeah, County. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, moving San Northern Francisco. California, Southern yes, California. Yes, hallelujah. Oh, thank you for ha, the rain, ha, ha. Lord. Thank, thank you, you for Lord. the rain. Thank you, thank Lord. Thank you yeah, for a deluge, right. Lord. Rain of the Spirit. Ah, mighty, <laughs> mighty, mighty. <laughs> mighty <laughs> Ooh, and and a sebeco correnta. Oh, an my awakening under God. Mishte. An awakening under Thank God. You, Lord. Ha, ha, ha. That's what's Thank needed. Thank you, Jesus. An awakening. Yeah. From the north to south. Yes, the that's east right. and that's the west. Right. Everywhere mm -hmm. in between. Yes. An awakening, Lord, yes, in our nation. Yes, yes. Thank you. You know, for I got to thinking when Thank we were talking for, about the, the spirit mm -hmm. of fear. Yeah. You know, with this latest thing about Omicron. Um, you notice the stocks and the mm. stock market goes down oh, wow. when these new fears come to place. It and responds so, to and it. So, yeah, it reacts. Of course, you know, people get fearful when they're given information about something like this, yeah. but they don't even know the, all the information. They That's don't know true. the whole story. True. And the whole story is this, is God is God, God is and God. He is good. Yes, he God. is our protector. Amen. He is our peace giver. Yeah. And He wants us to go about our life, yeah. amen, yeah. in confidence and in whole right. trust amen. to Him. Amen. And so I think oftentimes what happens uh, with people is fear gets a hold of them about sure. our nation, about our country. Oh yeah. And so I want to pray a prayer uh, for our leaders. I want to pray a prayer for our government, good, good. especially not only the current leaders, but future leaders. Good. So Father, in the name of in Jesus, the name of Jesus, we're asking you to raise up champions. Yes, Lord. Champions of righteousness in our oh, government. Oh, yes. Amen. We're asking you, sir, to rise up men mm -hmm. and women that mm -hmm. are strong. Yes, Lord. And give them a voice and give them support and give them supernatural divine yes, favor. Yes, Lord. 
Oh, Father, we pray that you'll give them things that will lead the country right. Yes, And that yes. will support the church and support you and your things. In the name of Jesus. And when we see that something is wrong, we don't come against flesh and blood. No. We come against the principalities and the powers. We come against those things that are behind those things. Yeah. So yeah. right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. we bind up. Evil. Yes, we, we bind, bind up, up evil. the enemy that has come against our nation in the name of Jesus, and we command it to shut, be shut down, shut down. and to stop, stop in the name of in Jesus. Jesus name. Oh, Father. We Thank speak faith-filled words yes, over our nation yes, yes, yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus mm -hmm, Christ. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Father, for moving, Thank moving you, by your Father. spirit Thank in you, Washington, D.C. Thank you for Thank moving you, by your spirit in the Senate, yes, in the Lord. Congress. Yes, oh, God, we Lord. hold yes, up the Supreme Lord. Court to you today. In the name of Jesus, yes, we lift every one of them up before the throne of grace. We live all those that are in authority in the name of Jesus. We're asking you, Lord, for things that need to turn around to be turned for the glory of God. We pray for an invasion of your glory in the USA in the name of Jesus. We pray that your will be done in the USA in the name of Jesus. And Father, thank you for raising up people to facilitate the plan of God. And Lord, for our current leaders, that you will navigate their hearts to your purpose and to your plans for America in the name, in the name. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Amen. my. Amen. So good. Glory to God. I believe that God will give people an unction of intercession That's good. over these yes, things. Yes, there are some yes, yes. big things mm -hmm. coming up. There's some big things coming our way. Yeah. But we have the authority Amen. to turn things Amen. and for them to go God's way. God's way. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Well, it was good to be back together. We haven't done it together for yeah. a few weeks now. Yeah, absolutely. You yeah. got any closing comments? No, I'm, I think I'm clear. I think, I think clear. I'm good. Thank you all for joining yeah. us. And again, if you're here in the Bay Area, you don't have a home church, please come join us Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Yeah. We have communion. We yeah. hear really good a message kicking off the Christmas season. Amen. And praise the Lord. Let us uh, let us know that you're on, you know, yeah. like or make a comment or whatever. Let us know that you're participating. Yeah. It means so very much for us uh, to hear from you. Well, praise God. Until next time, our sincere prayer is that God's richest and best be yours. Have a great day.